Ryan Nugent the 2nd of April 2019 3 a.m. Leo Varadkar, his partner Matt Barrett and pals met Kylie backstage at her gig at the 3 Arena in Dublin last December the Tasha wrote to the Australian singer ahead of her proposed visit to Dublin last October for a gig at the 3 Arena and offered to give her a personal welcome to the country. The letter was issued on official paper with a department of the Tasha header. Relenting MR Varadkar attempted to prevent its release under the Freedom of Information Act twice, despite its status as an official note, before finally relenting. Dear Kylie, just wanted to drop you a short note in advance of the concert in Dublin, the letter read. I am really looking forward to it. I'm a huge fan, I understand you are staying in the Marion Hotel which is just across the street from my office in government buildings. If you like, I'd love to welcome you to Ireland personally, he added, signing off the letter is Leo V, Taisho Irish Prime Minister, Fianna Fáil TD James Lawless said that, while he could understand to an extent Mr. Varadkar reaching out to a well-known person visiting the country, there were better ways to go about it. I think it's demeaning of the office, sending a letter of that nature. I understand there's some discretion to reach out to sports stars or cultural stars. It's a little bit cringeworthy. Mr. Lawless said, what compounds it is the refusal to release the letter at first, he added. What had the Tasha got to hide? Mr. Lawless said there was an appropriate way of doing things and that the Tasha could have sent the letter to Kylie on his own paper without any official government stamp. The details were provided to a tabloid newspaper after two initial refusals. Kylie's October gig was subsequently cancelled when the star came down with a throat infection. However, the Tasha did eventually meet the star backstage after he attended her rescheduled gig in December.